north of the UK. As we move through the week, it does stay unsettled, our air coming in off the Atlantic. A lot of dry weather, though, across the southern half of the UK. It'll generally be more unsettled, wetter and windier across the north. This is BBC News, I'm Laquesta Burak, the headlines at eight. A senior government advisor on COVID warns the UK could face another lockdown at Christmas and tells people they shouldn't wait for ministers to take action. Do everything possible in your control to try to reduce transmission. Don't wait for the government to change policy. The sooner we all act, the sooner we can get this transmission rate down and the greater the prospect of having a Christmas with our families. The warning comes as two of the biggest teaching unions have called for tougher COVID measures in schools in England to combat a rise in infections. A welcome from England's city regions outside London for an announcement of nearly £7 billion to improve their transport networks. But they say more money is needed. Ministers promise half a billion pounds to support families in the budget, but the Labour Party calls it a smokescreen. Court documents reveal that Alec Baldwin was told a prop gun was safe moments before he accidentally killed a crew member on a film set. And a warning that dog owners are pretending their lockdown pets are strays in order to get rid of them. Good evening and welcome to BBC News. A prominent advisor to the government on COVID-19 is urging the public to do everything possible to reduce transmission of the virus. Professor Peter Openshaw says the infection and death rates are currently unacceptable and he's very fearful there could be another lockdown Christmas. The government maintains that 